Being fat sucks. Being fat fucking sucks. Well, parts of it do, for sure. You know what's worse though? Hating who you are because of how you look. Hi, I'm Adam and I've been helping people lose weight and escape toxic diet culture for nearly 10 years. Y'all tagged me in this video dozens of times, so let's talk about it. Putting aside the fact that I feel disgusting and ugly, I am the heaviest I've ever been and it's starting to really affect my health. I can't even walk upstairs anymore without feeling tired and out of breath and it's so so embarrassing i think there are three main components of the fat experience number one confidence and aesthetics number two health physical and mental and number three quality of life and i think ultimately where you're at in one or all of these areas really determines whether or not you're happy in that body i feel like i constantly talk about you know like loving your body and being confident in who you are it just feels so ugly. <laughs> As someone who spent 25 years in a larger body, I get it. A lifetime of hating your body is a heavy burden and it's not easy to learn to speak kindly to yourself and to nerf those critical thoughts. Emotionally, I feel like I've really disappointed myself. I feel like I've really let myself down. I'm sick of feeling like this. That's tough. And I don't know how you got here, what happened along the way, and I don't know if you're disappointed in the choices you've made or just the fact that you're at where you're at, but I do know you can't change the past. So where do you go from here? What can you start to do to make yourself proud again? I just, I just want someone to find me attractive. And I just don't feel like that's ever gonna be the case. <laughs> Feeling alone or unloved, I think, is one of the most difficult things you can go through. And when you feel like nobody thinks you're attractive because of your body, well, add that to the list of reasons why being fat sucks, right? But many of my overweight clients and people I know, and I'm sure people that you know, are happily married and in relationships, and a lot of times we're overweight the whole time, and their spouse loves them just the same. So we know that people in larger bodies aren't unlovable or unattractive, you just haven't found your someone yet. But when you do, that person will love you no matter your size. I've never been able to successfully stick to a diet. I feel like they last a few days and then I get depressed and I binge eat and I'm so, so sick and tired of repeating the cycle of starving myself for a few days and then binging on a shit ton of food and then just like the cycle happens again and again and again. I want to assure you, you did not fail those diets. They failed you. Weight Watchers only wants long-term results if that means you've used their point system for 30 years. The keto diet exists to sell you keto products at the grocery store. Juice cleanses want you to keep buying their juices. These quick fix programs and promises are only there to prey on you, the desperate, and squeeze you for every dollar you've got because they know you'll pay it. Check out the comment section i promise these diets have failed everybody i'm just looking for a bit of support on how to lose weight in a sustainable way and in a way that's going to make me feel good rather than feeling shit you are on the right path everything you've gone through has brought you to this place a place you maybe weren't ready for before you're also in the right place if you're watching this healthy sustainable lifestyles are my non-keto bread and butter I do coach clients one-on-one. -on -one. You could apply for that if you want, but even if all you're doing is watching my content and learning, you can do things differently this time.